Hello everyone, Rob Marzullo here, Ramp Studio Comics. Welcome back. So this is another promo video for my course on digital painting in Manga Studio 5, also known as Clip Studio Paint Pro. This is lesson two of six, and this one is focused on creating the line work and developing and painting uh, weapons for concept art. So in this lesson, we'll cover how we use this software to create line work and manipulate it in a variety of ways to adjust things and save time. So I start off with a very rough sketch and then refine the line work for the weapons. And then I go through and show you how I create selections and flats and start to create the digital painting process from that line art. We then get into using the lock transparency feature, creating layers with the different colors. And it really helps to separate and itemize parts of the painting so that you can focus more on just creating cool effects and not worry too much about bleeding into other areas of your paintwork. So this little bit of setup saves you a lot of time in the end when it comes to your digital painting process. So this one's about an hour and a half long. Uh, there's only about 10 to 12 minutes. It's time lapse at the end because I repeat some of the steps. I still narrate through that process for you. And it's full of a lot of organizational type skills when it comes to this type of painting and how to paint a variety of materials, how to texture. Uh, so there's a, a lot of cool information in this one that should uh, relate well to any budding artist that's trying to feel a little bit more uh, at home with digitally painting in Manga Studio 5. So this one is available now on my Gumroad page. There'll be a link in the description box below. And the next lesson will be up shortly and that will be painting a fantasy style type tree. Uh, we'll do some foliage techniques so that'll kind of get us ready for the following lesson which will be perspective and landscapes and then we'll move into the character design stuff. So I'm very excited to teach you this course. I hope you're excited to learn it. I hopefully you've participated in lesson one and enjoyed that. Uh, so there's lots of uh, cool stuff in this one as well. And if you got any questions, make sure to drop them in the description box below and I will do my best to answer you back in a timely fashion and help you if there's any problem areas you have. And be sure to let me know what you think of the course content and you know what exactly you got out of it and what you'd like to see in the future because uh, that's always what I'll try to bring to you. So as always, keep drawing, keep having fun, and I'll talk to you soon.